Hi, this is Justin Patton in the Faculty Development Center at Murray State University. Today's workshop is about taking your Tegrity recordings and moving them over to your YouTube account. You have a YouTube account that's associated with your MSU logon credentials, so we're going to use that YouTube account today and make sure that we get any Tegrity recordings off of the Tegrity cloud, which we do have a cap of 500 hours on over to the YouTube cloud, which is limitless, which means you don't have to worry about losing anything uh, over on YouTube due to uh, exceeding the amount of space allocated. So first up, let's go to the Faculty Development Center website. And you will see here that we have a lot of interesting things, videos, events, workshops. All the way over on the Instructional Design tab is the Tegrity selection. And this gives you most of what you would need to know to get things squared away. We're going to quickly walk through uh, adding Tegrity in Canvas in case you need a refresher on that. I'll come over here and go down to Modules. Click the Create a Module blue button. I'll call it Tegrity. And add it. Then I come over here to the Plus button and I'm going to come down to external tool. Then I will come on down here and select Tegrity recordings. And I will also click the load in a new tab button. Finally, add item. So this has added the Tegrity recordings module. I can come click on this now and it's going to tell me I need to load Tegrity in a new window. So I'll click on that, and I will agree to whatever they want me to agree to. And then my Tegrity dashboard should come up. And here it is, just added. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this old recording. Yes, I'm sure. And then we will make a new recording. So right off the bat, uh, I can come up to the blue button and start a recording, which is going to start a screen capture. And also activate my webcam in case I want to put my own face down in the bottom corner someplace. It'll take a little bit, but as you see, things eventually get going here. Now, I have uh, a built-in microphone on my laptop. I also have a uh, FireWire or USB-styled audio interface. So I'm going to go over and select my audio interface, which lets me use the microphone that's right in front of me. gets a little bit uh, closer sound. So I can either leave the instructor camera on, or I can turn it off if I don't want to have uh, any video associated with my screen capture. And let's go ahead and do a quick test recording. Yes, I do want to record the primary display, not my secondary display, so it's selected the correct one here. And we are going. Once I see this um, audio meter registering down here, I know that the screen capture is working. I can say whatever I need to say. I can go to wherever I need to go to. Uh, whether it's a PowerPoint or whether it's um, a database on the web or some application. Once I'm done, I can click Stop. I will say Save and Upload. And it takes a good while sometimes for Tegrity to not only upload the video, especially if it's a really long one, but also to process it. We'll wait here for a few minutes until it becomes visible and then available to access. By the way, if you're curious how I'm making this uh, screen capture without having Tegrity installed, I'm using a product called Camtasia, which is um, also useful in, in a lot of ways. Um, however, it's not free. And um, it's a little bit more like uh, the iMovie video editor for Max, if you're familiar with that. Um, but uh, you can do almost everything that Camtasia does with Tegrity. 
So you see now that I've got this grayed out option and on the right side it says available soon. So we're still waiting for the processing to finish up and then we'll be able to open it up and take a look at it. And then we will also fire up YouTube and see what we need to do to get uh, YouTube ready. Might go ahead and do that now while we're waiting. I'm not sure if I've left my YouTube account logged in. No, that's good. So um, we're ready to sign in. Let me come back and check on things over here. Here we go. So now you see that it's blue and the link highlights. It's ready to watch. We're going to click on it. going to play this one. And we are going once I see this um, audio. So I'll hit stop right there. And you can see how Tegrity lays things out. When we upload this video to YouTube, we will lose the inset of the uh, webcam. So my face will be gone. That's one of the drawbacks. Um, Camtasia would let you keep your face and put that down in, inside the corner over the top of your screen capture. Um, but for a lot of folks, this is not a make or break deal. So I'm going to go back here to um, Justin's training course. Which is my integrity dashboard. If I know I want to upload this to YouTube, I can select my recording right here, come to Recording Tasks, and select Upload to YouTube. And all of this takes a little bit of time for the Integrity Cloud to process. Now I will use my MSU credentials to sign in to Google. Yes, I do want to allow Tegrity.com access to my YouTube account, so I will say allow access. And here we are at the upload to YouTube page where I can click the blue upload button. Your selected recordings will be uploaded shortly. Very good. Now one thing I want to do while we're waiting uh, is come over to my YouTube page and show you how to enable longer recordings. If I click on the um, avatar here and come down to my YouTube settings, which is this little cog. It takes me to the overview of settings. I want to see view additional features. And down here at about the uh, one, two, three, maybe the fourth or fifth option, you see longer videos, upload videos longer than 15 minutes. I want to click on enable. And then in order to enable this, because probably most of us are going to want to put videos up that are longer than 15 minutes, uh, I will actually have them text me the verification code. So I've got to put my cell phone number in.
and I submit it, Google is happy to send me the code that I need. And you know, you don't have to worry. I think Google already has everybody's cell phone number anyway. So I get my code, it just came through. My number is 157. 956. I'm going to submit that. And voila, I'm now uh, free to upload hour and a half long videos if that's what I want to do. But that's how you get the 15 minute barrier broken on YouTube. Sometimes it can take a very long time for Tegrity to move a video over to YouTube and for it to become visible on YouTube. It may take an hour. It may take longer sometimes. Uh, so you can't expect it to show up right away. But when it does show up, you can come to your YouTube channel and you will see here it is. And let's take a quick look. And we are going once I see this um, audio and so you can see that it's the screen capture but no inset uh, for your webcam, no actual FaceTime. And that's what I meant when I said that you, uh, you lose that with Tegrity. If you're doing it in Camtasia, then you can upload both, which is one of the benefits of Camtasia. So perhaps you want to um, go uh, to your um, video manager, which you can find right here, and you can decide whether or not you want this to be public or if you want it to be unlisted. Unlisted means that you can still send the URL to anyone and they can watch it, but no one's going to be able to uh, search it and find it unless they have the URL which you would have sent to them. If you make it private, that kind of locks it down and you have to uh, give a certain email addresses the permission to view the video. So most folks that want to exercise some amount of control are going to choose unlisted, which lets people see it if you send it to them, but otherwise it's next to impossible to find. Although a student could conceivably forward that URL onto someone else, and you would not have that type of control over it. Um, but odds are most videos are not uh, that crucial to be locked down to the point where you really want to fight through making sure every single email out of 25 or 30 students is working properly because it probably won't be easy to make all 30 plus emails um, work smoothly uh, when you lock it down with private. So either public or unlisted would be my recommendations. You can rename your video. You can add a description. You can add tags. Um, but the important thing is it, it is up and it is on YouTube ready to be watched and you can keep adding videos indefinitely. So we come back now to the Tegrity dashboard and the whole point of uploading to YouTube is so that we can do this next step. We want to delete the video off of the Tegrity cloud. And that saves us the space on Tegrity and now we have the video up on YouTube ready to go. Thanks for watching.